this section we will talk about threat defense. Evolving cybersecurity threats such as phishing, malware, ransomware and web-based exploits are very common guys. There is no single product unfortunately in the industry that can successfully secure organizations from all these threats. To address this, Cisco created Cisco Safe, a security architectural framework that helps design secure solutions for the following places in the network and they are branch, campus, data center, edge, cloud and wide area network. Let's start with branch. Branches are typically less secure than the campus and data center because the potentially large number of branches makes it cost prohibitive to try to apply on them all the security controls found in campus and data center. Branch locations are therefore prime targets for security breaches, guys. It is important to ensure that vital security capabilities are included in the design while keeping it cost effective. Top threats on branch include endpoint malware, wireless infrastructure exploits such as a rogue APs and man-in-the-middle attacks, unauthorized client activity and exploitation of trust. Campuses contain large numbers of users including employees, contractors, guests and partners. Campuses are easy targets for phishing, web-based exploits, unauthorized network access, malware propagation and botnet. When it comes to data center, data centers contain an organization's most critical information assets and intellectual capital and they are therefore the primary goal of all targeted threats. Data centers typically contain hundreds or thousands of servers which makes it really difficult to create and manage proper security rules to control network access. Typical threats seen in data centers are data extraction, malware propagation, unauthorized network access, botnet infestation, data loss. The edge is the primary ingress and egress point for traffic to and from the internet and for this reason it is the highest risk PIN and the most important for e-commerce. Typical threats seen on the edge include web server vulnerabilities, DDoS attacks, data loss and man in the middle attacks. And when it comes to cloud, security in the cloud is dictated by SLAs with the cloud service provider and requires independent certification audits and risk assessments. The primary threats are web server vulnerabilities, loss of access, data loss, malware and man in the middle attacks. When it comes to wide array network, the wide array network connects the PINs together. In a large organization with hundreds of branches, managing security on the WAN is very challenging. Typical threats seen in WAN are malware propagation, unauthorized network access, WAN sniffing and many in the middle attacks again. So, implementing the Cisco SAFE framework in an organization provides advanced threat defense protection that spans the full attack continuum before, during and after an attack for all the PINs. And we have three phases in here as you can see. The first phase is before, the second phase is during and the last one is the after. 
In the before phase, the full knowledge of all the assets that need to be protected is required. And the types of threats that could target these assets need to be identified also. This phase uh, involves establishing policies and implementation prevention to reduce risk. Cisco solutions for this phase include next generation firewalls, network access control, network security analysis and identity services. So when it comes to the during phase, this phase defines the abilities and actions that are required when an attack gets through. Threat analysis and incident responses are some of the typical activities associated with this phase. For this phase, uh, organizations can leverage next generation IPS, next generation firewalls, malware protection and email and web security solutions that make it possible to detect, block and defend against attacks that have been penetrated the network and are in progress. And when it comes to the after phase, this phase defines the ability to detect, contain and remediate an attack. After a successful attack, any lessons learned need to be incorporated into the existing security solution. Organizations can leverage Cisco Advanced Malware Protection, Next Generation Firewalls and Malicious Network Behavior Analysis using Stilt Watch to quickly and effectively scope, contain and remediate an attack to minimize damage.